right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about working with strings in Python. So let's get right into this. Um, I just have a open file right here, and we're just going to go through some different string methods and kind of how you can work with everything to do with strings in Python. So let's talk about initializing a string. So let's go ahead and say we have a variable here. And we'll just call it name here and that will be initialized either by double quotes in python but you can also use single quotes so that doesn't matter um, so let's start with um, double quotes here so we'll just say darwin like this and that is how you are going to initialize your strings now if we come down here and we wanted to do a multi-line string that would be done by uh, triple quotes here so we go like this and come down here like this and then in here we could have a multi-line string so we could say uh, Darwin and down here we could say tech like this just like that and then I'm just gonna run this this is gonna open it up and uh, kind of a live code here in the in the right side here um, so we can say the name here is Darwin and uh, that is that now if we wanted to uh, switch this let's go like this comment this out for a second here and we'll just say name is equal to this and then you can see that you're going to get this uh, new line character so if we want to print this just like that you can see they're going to end up on different lines so that is the triple quotes right there so let's uh, come back like this we'll uh, get rid of that bring this back here so uh, another thing, not necessarily to do with strings, but just a little something here is if we want to initialize a variable, we can also do them on uh, the same line. So we can go like this, uh, a comma b, just like that. And then we can set them equal to say, we'll just say uh, test and uh, uh, variable, uh, both strings, just like this. All right, so now this is the same thing um, as going like this, uh, a is equal to test and b is equal to variable. That's the exact same thing as this. So that's just something to know for you. All right, let's get rid of that now. Um, so let's get into a few more things we can do with strings. So let's say we wanna get the length of the string. We can just go like this and we can say print and we will say uh, len. So that is how you get length. And then we can just say name like this, which is our variable up here. And we can see the length is six over here. So that is great. So you can get the length of that just like that. Then if we wanted to get a, a particular index here, we can come down here and we can say print like this and we can get the name. And say we want to get the first item in uh, this Darwin string here. That's simply just like zero. So this is kind of the same as like JavaScript. Um, you can just put the index of whatever letter in your string you want. All right, and then if we copy this down here, we can also see that we could go from the other side. So we can get negative indexes here. So let's say we wanted the last item. If we go negative one here, we can see we get the N from Darwin. So, and you can go uh, from the other way. So negative two, you would get the I, negative three, and so on to get the W. So that is how you can work with uh, negative indexes right there. Now, some other things we can do, let's say we want to print out the name, but we want kind of a segment of the string. So we can go like this and we can go zero colon, uh, let's say four. And we can see we get the uh, first four letters of the string. So we're gonna, this is gonna be your first, you're starting uh, where you wanna start the segment and then the four is gonna be up until that number. So we're gonna go uh, zero, one, two, three, and then up until the fourth. So we don't include that. Now we can also go like this, let's copy this down here, and we can omit this zero, and it will just start at the first, or the zeroth index, and go up until the end. So you can see that these two are gonna be equivalent, just like that. Now let's come down again, we'll copy this down one more time. And we can do the same thing with the end. So if we go zero and then we omit that, you can see we go zero all the way up until the end of the string.
So now let's just comment some of these out for now so we don't clog this up as much. Uh, we still have that name. All right, so now let's talk about uh, escaping characters. So let's say we have a full underscore name like this, and this is gonna be our variable, and we will say uh, Darwin uh, Tech, just like this. And we want to come down here and print the full name, just like that. Uh, we can come over to our C, we have our Darwin Tech right here. So what if we wanted to escape a character here? So say we wanted to have a uh, double quote in inside of here. So normally we can't just add a double quote like this or we'll see this will break. So if we want to escape that character and actually allow it, we can go backslash like this double quote. And then if we come up here, you can see now we have this uh, double quote in there. You could also just come in and do just a single quote like this. Um, just like that, and that would also work. However, you might wanna stay consistent within uh, your like, double quotes and everything. So that is one reason you might wanna use the backslash there. All right, and then close, yeah, get the double quotes back. And then if we want to do a new line, that's gonna be backslash N. And you can see that will also uh, put us on uh, separate lines. Now, uh, the triple quotes will do that too. And uh, you might wanna use that instead just for uh, formatting so you don't have a bunch of uh, backslash Ns everywhere. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. Let's uh, get rid of this for now. And we'll come back down below that. And now let's talk about uh, concatenating strings. So let's give us a couple variables here. So we'll say first, and that will be equal to uh, Darwin, like this, and last, and that will be equal to uh, tech, like that. And then say we wanted to concatenate these into a full name variable. So again, full name like that, and that's gonna be equal to first. And the original way you might be doing this is you're gonna go plus, and then in between, you have a space there and then we're going to do another plus here and then last so this is traditionally how you would concatenate things so let's just print that out so you can see what that looks like there full name like that come over here and we can see we have our darwin tech full name so this works fine you can do it like this uh, but in more recent um, versions of python there's also the uh something called f string so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna come here, we'll just comment this out, and come down here, and let's say we wanna have full name again like this. Now we can go like this and we'll say F, and then inside of here, we're gonna have our string, and then we're gonna open up some curly braces here like this, and we can add whatever we want for our variable. So this will be our first, and then we're gonna have a space here, and then we're just gonna have last like this. Now, this and this are gonna be equivalent, so if we come over here, we see we still have the Darwin tech like that. So some advantages of this F string uh, kind of syntax here is we can actually do all types of expressions within here. So we can do mathematical uh, calculations. So let's say we had, uh, let's just go like this and we'll say math is equal to F string. And then inside of this F string, we'll just go two times two and close that off and then print uh, math here like that and you can see we get the four just like that so that adds a whole new level of functionality within our strings which is pretty good all right so that is a lot of string stuff um the last thing i want to go over is all the different built-in string methods so let's get rid of this here let's come down to the bottom scroll up a bit and i'm just going to go through kind of a ton of these so Let's say, actually, let's keep this uh, full name here. We'll keep this here and then we'll come down here and we'll say print and we'll say full name like this. And the first thing we're gonna look at is transforming this into uppercase. So in order to do that, you'd come in here and we'd say dot and you can see all these different things, uh, replace, lower, all these different split, all these different methods pop up. And the first one we're gonna look at is upper. And when we call that, we can see we uppercase our entire string. So let's copy this down and show you a few more. We can say lower like this and we will uh, lowercase everything like that. Um, we can title case stuff. So title like this, 
and you can see if we come back over, it's gonna be, uh, this is gonna be the same, but if we come over here and lowercase this and come back up, so now our, our normal string will be lowercase, but when we title case it, you can see it comes back up. So the titles will be uppercased, or the title letters rather will be uppercased. Uh, let's copy some more down, keep this going. We can also capitalize like this, and you can see you'll get the same thing, except for uh, this is one string, so our second word in this string will not be capitalized. Um, but our first will, so just like uh, any sort of capitalization you would imagine. Um, and then we can get into some other things like uh, strip. So this will take out the white space from our uh, thing. So right now, if we add that, you can see, let's come back up, we'll change this back to capital. Uh, and let's imagine we added a bunch of white space or we don't have to imagine, let's actually add the white space and then uh, come over here and you can see that all of these now have a bunch of white space except for this one, which has uh, stripped away all of that extra white space. So that's kind of a, a useful one you might use a lot. Um, what else we got? Um, we can split. So if we go like this, we can split this up. And inside this split, we want to show which uh, item we want to split it at. So this will split things into an array of uh, strings here. So since we have all this, we're getting this. But let's get rid of this extra white space. And if we come back, we can see that now this is split into a list or an array in JavaScript, but a list in Python of our two uh, individual strings. So that's what split does. Uh, let's keep going a couple more. We'll say uh, we can go find like this and say we wanted to find a particular uh, part of that string. We can say say dar, the first three letters, and this will tell us if this is in our string. So for us, zero means it uh, is, and then negative one will mean it isn't. So if we go like this, now we're getting negative one saying that this uh, dar e is not in our string. All right, let's talk about uh, a few more here. We got, uh, we'll go replace just like this. And let's say we wanted to replace uh, the D in Darwin with a lowercase d like this. Now we come back up and we can, oh, we spelled replace wrong. Replace like this, we can come and see that this has been re replaced, uh, our uppercase D has been replaced with our lowercase D. So that is great. Now let's check out another one here. So let's print out and we're gonna see if uh, Darwin is uh, in uh, full name, which is our variable. So if this is in that, we can see that it is. Now, if we are to uh, get rid of this or change it up and we can see that it is false, it is not in full name. So this is checking if uh, a particular string is in the other string. Then um, we can also add on here uh, the not function, which is kind of the negation operator there. And so if it's not there, which is true. So let's say we go back here, Darwin like this, come back. And if it's not in there, this should be false, just like that. All right, so we'll go over tuples later on, but um, I just wanna show you this because it kind of has to do with strings here. So uh, my tuple like this, and that is equal to, uh, we'll say Darwin. And the second item is gonna be uh, tech here, just like this. And then let's say channel, and that's gonna be equal to and we're gonna say a dash here. So this is gonna be what we're going to join on. And then we'll say dot join. And then in here, we pass in that uh, tuple or tuple or whatever you wanna call it. So that is my tuple. Um, and then when we come down here and print that uh, channel, and then we come over and see what that looks like here we can see that we're joining these two strings here or these two items in our tuple here and we're joining them with a dash. So that is what join dot join is gonna do for us. All right, so that is a lot about strings. Hopefully that's helpful um, and uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.